ESPN host Jamel Hill came under fire on September 11th after calling President Trump a, quote, white supremacist in a tweet. The veteran sports journalist responded to a tweet about Kid Rock's potential interest in a Senate bid, criticizing the musician's use of the Confederate flag. The tweet and the ensuing backlash raises questions about what, or if, journalists can say about things they find troublesome. How do journalists hold those in a position of authority accountable for their actions? ESPN distanced itself from the Sports Center host's tweet, saying that it, quote, doesn't represent the position of ESPN. Hill released a statement on Twitter saying that she regretted that the comments, quote, painted ESPN in an unfair light. But she didn't apologize for the tweet, and it remains on her Twitter feed. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders called Hill's tweet a, quote, fireable offense during her press briefing on September 13th. Everybody, I think that's one of the more outrageous comments that anyone could make. Questions about what journalists can and can't say in public are becoming more complicated for both journalists themselves and their employers. Politico made news after a managing editor said the company discards, quote, dozens of job applications over partisan tweets. Employees at the company questioned whether it was acceptable to opine about topics such as white supremacy or attacks on journalists, as the Post's Eric Wimple reported. Some Twitter users also took issue with a sports journalist commenting on political matters. The sports and politics worlds have become increasingly intertwined with athletes kneeling during the national anthem, protesting police treatment of African Americans. Colin Kaepernick, the former San Francisco 49ers quarterback who kneeled during the national anthem last season and hasn't been picked up by an NFL team, tweeted his support to Hill. Gene Demby from NPR's Code Switch blog said in a Twitter thread that, quote, objectivity and fairness aren't the same thing. The National Association of Black Journalists released a statement saying that the organization supported Hill's First Amendment right, quote, within and outside the world of sports. In an increasingly partisan world, the issue of what journalists can and can't say isn't one that's going away anytime soon.